Okay, everyone, yeah, well. and thank you very much for watching or listening again. Liam, i be back with you with another episode of Presenting Champions for the Simply Inspired Podcast. And today I'm joined by the main man, the Taff, my brother from Wales, Dean the Taff Morris, who is the new YouTube Wars champion. Now, it's an incredible achievement in and of itself, achieving uh, a major title like that in bare knuckle boxing one of the toughest sports in the world. But as many people know, uh, some of the things that Dean has overcome in his own life to get where he is today from, you know, suicide attempts, street violence, drugs, and all types of things in the background, depression. And to be on top of the tree now as a champion, given everything that he's overcome, it's absolute pure inspiration. And obviously the best is yet to come. Um, also need to quickly mention, a lot of people know, but Dean also gives a lot back to the community, um, training and coaching, sort of passed on his knowledge to young fighters got a new team around him uh, so we'll be talking a bit about that as well and uh, everything inspiration and everything fighting as well so champ thank you so much mate for coming back on it and everything to be back in it huh? it's never it's never not going to be back if it was a we always be enjoy your little tracks you know? yeah but, uh, yeah it's more of what's mad isn't it the champ <laughs> doing and and the boy as well he's he's one now and he's a champ before he's even 10. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Amazing. I've always done this for my family. I mean, like I said, I've always done it for that family and myself. And to come home that belt for my boy that day, different, it's a different level, mate. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, it's got to be an amazing feeling. Can you describe the feeling? Is it something you can put into words of, uh, you know, what went through your mind when you won? And obviously since that time, now that it's sort of had a bit of time to sink in and everything? Um. Yeah, all through our fight. And he's coming back. He was a strong boy, mentally strong. I think he's just his mindset was so strong. I wanted that belt, do you mean? And obviously, I wanted that belt, so I'm, I'm not giving up. It's my boy's belt. And then the minute I caught him, that body shot, it was a nasty boy, as well. And he went down like Dre. And I thought, oh, I thought, I might have this now. But he kept on coming forward in that fourth round. I was like, this ain't right. <laughs> I thought, this guy's not right. <laughs> so he came forward again. And um, by the when he got to the fifth round, then obviously, it, it got pulled out. I just felt weak to the knees. It was, it was just something that lifted right through me up to the top and come down. Couldn't stand. And then obviously somebody tapped me in the back. I, I don't know where it was. And um, yeah, I just couldn't. I just couldn't stand probably. My legs went there in the end. But it was an hard fight. Really hard fight. The boy, the man, can he, he give me hell. He gives me hell. He did. Yeah. But I want that. You won. I mean, it' amazing. And obviously, um, with with this guy Philip uh, Philip Hartley and Philip Anton, you know the yeah, he is uh, a tough individual. And obviously, having fought him before, I want to give a big shout out to him as well, Philip Hartley. Philip Anton, yeah, one of the toughest guys around. Actually, well, you know what? He's one of the toughest guys I've fought so far. That I can take his shots off me. Do you know what? I'm not like example exaggerating. So when I cast you a body shot, you're going down. I've hit ninety kilo boys plus. And he didn't drop, he just kept coming to me. The guy who's possessed <laughs> up there somewhere, he kept coming to me and I was like, oh, this ain't right, this ain't. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it's a tough test. So I want to give a shout out to Philip Anthony yeah. Hart. So, uh, so, yeah, um, and during that that fight, did you believe you'd win all the way through? Or was there any yeah. more? Yeah, I, knew, I knew I was going to win it at some point. I, I thought it'd be sooner. I, I, I put down second or third round. But like I said, I couldn't put him down. <laughs> it's just, it's just, guys, unbelievable. I just don't know what, what he's taking that day with his protein. I don't know. But he would not go down. <laughs> yeah, he is a, a tough individual. And obviously, I saw your celebrations in the ring as well, where yeah. and, uh, Ben Alcock, he gave you the hat, didn't he? He gave you like his crazy. So, so tell That's us crazy. a little bit about that. <laughs> Yeah, tell us a little bit about that, like the on the night, like the atmosphere and, you know. Um, to be honest with you, mate, out of all the fights I've had, that was the best one I've ever had. Do you know the feeling getting in there, getting my hands wrapped? It was just, I don't know, it was just, this one felt really different. I mean, I, I had good from the start of this fight. As soon as I walked out of the van, uh, Bobby did try and drive off with my bags and a bloody van. I was like, oh, Bob, stop. And John was like, whoa. But other than that, the day was crashed. I mean, we had we walked in, everybody welcomed us. We sat down. I was like, yes, I got a good feeling about this one tonight. And Bobby and uh, John looked at me and he went, you right, tough, yeah? I said, yeah, I'm right. I got this. And then when we walked out, 
He's like, keep to your game plan now, Dean, box him. I said, I will. I couldn't box it. I did. I lasted three rounds boxing, but I just went to win and drop him in. I don't want to go no third round or fourth round. I want to get in and get it done. But the feeling I had from the time I got to the end was just magic. I can't describe any more now. Yeah, absolutely. Amazing achievement. And and also your hands, though. Your hands were a bit... Um... <sighs> my hands. My hands are still paying for it now. He's got a really hard head on him. I tell you what. I knew Philip. But that, see that there now? That's broke. I think I still broke a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> and you got that one, but then the second knuckle. And then this one, there, as you see now, is still a bit swollen. Um, but yeah, they'll, they'll be back, or don't worry, they'll be back in use. Yeah, yeah they'll be back in use uh, very soon because. Uh, yeah. I can still grip it now. Like, doing this, I, it's, I couldn't grip when I first done it. But these now, look, I can grip it. It's fine. So I know it's coming better. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it'll be back in action very soon. We'll talk about that. Now, I should have asked this earlier on, but do you have the belt there? Can you show it to us, or is it is it like... Yeah, I can get you the belt. Two seconds, I'll be back now. <laughs> Kay. Kay. Can you grab the belt from there? Just grab it. Yeah, no worries. Can you grab the belt for Liam? It's gone to get her, Liam. Yeah, no worries. Oh. But she was there, wasn't she? She was there to see you win. And... She was in the ring, yeah. She jumped in the ring. I wouldn't expect you know about Kay, how nervous she is, yeah? Yeah. But that night, she, even she was doing proud of herself, yeah, and proud of her, obviously me, because she's been through this camp and the other camps with me. So that's like all of our belts. I mean, we've worked hard for our belt. So, do you mean having her there, saying that ring of me alone? Do you mean I'd never thought that day would come if she jumped in the ring? But she had, do you mean, yeah, obviously the, the enjoyment took over, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, and and do you speak to uh, Philip now? Do you ever speak to him after the fight? Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I, I, and I, I never like get emotional like that about a guy. That's why I checked his face, and I really felt bad. I don't feel no, I don't normally feel bad in that situation in fights. But he, for the last couple of days, he's refusing to go to the hospital. Okay, and I was like, Philip, you can't go to hospital, mate. Yeah. I said that's dangerous. Well, he eventually he has listened to somebody. I don't know if it's me or not. But he's got a punctured lung and two broken ribs. I know, I know who's said him. And I was, you know what, I felt, I felt a bit of, you know, hurt that he was actually that damaged to me because I'm not, I'm not a nasty man, right? But it's a part of the fight game, isn't it? But, uh, yeah, mate, it's, it's one of the things you just got to with, I think, in this game, and it's going to happen. He's, he's calling me the bone breaker, and he's, uh, he's walking out my next fight, in fact. Is he? Okay. Yeah, well, I've, all, I've, I've said to him, look, Philip, I said, because you can't fight now. I said, and he likes to stay active in the fight scene. I said, well, come on, come and walk out my next fight. And he's like, yeah, yeah, landed. So, yeah, he's going to be walking out on the April the 27th. There you go, guys. Oh, yeah. Can't see the to my camera, but yeah, we'll have a look. Yeah. But like I said, do you mean that from that first fight we fought to now, even he said himself, what a different boy he was. I was like, well, yeah, that's me. I mean, that's, that's me how I normally am. Do you know what I mean? That's how I fight. I said, the last time we fought me, weren't me. I was going for a rough patch. I just lost my nan, my uncle. I didn't want to be there. Do you know what I mean? I just wanted to go and have fun. But unfortunately, I paid up for our not training, and you, you did do that to me. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, I, I didn't train for our last fight properly. But what can I say? Do you know what I mean? Does Daniel, that... I got my belt. Yeah, well, it does happen, mate. I mean, it's one of those things that when people lose somebody or whatever, I've heard this before, and the fight sort of drains out of you and everything. Yeah. And not, it's not good being there for. No. But anyway, now you've got the you've got the belt, so it's all redeemed and it's all sort of yeah. uh, on top of the world, top of the mountain. Awesome. So and it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful. Yeah, it's a big one. I we're expecting it to be that big, but it's heavy as well. You can just go pick it up with one of my bad hands. <laughs> and it's amazing. <laughs> Well, because obviously I was over the moon when you got the result, mate. Because from the time we've been talking since before, I think since before your pro debut, isn't it? To all the fights you've had now to this, and, and I have to say, I always knew you'd get there, but seeing you actually get there is, is an amazing feeling for myself as well. So, um, now also you've got some other things coming up as well, haven't you? So, I don't know how much you can say about this. Um, I suppose I can sort of say whatever it's been like, like I'm, I'm sure Simon will mind to say I'm defending my title on the 27th of April. Um, also, where I first started with my bare knuckle career, well, Welsh Combat Series, I'm looking to have a title fight on there. 
I don't know what I'm going to do yet, yeah, but we'll, we'll find one soon. Amazing. So it's continuing on the up and up. And, uh, it's just going up now, mate. And I, I'm, I've, to be honest, I've been offered three title fights since I've had our fight. So I'm, I'm doing something, right? I know I am. Do you know? And I'll take all titles I get. Do you know what I mean? But I just want good gloves. So if we've got glove titles, don't offer them because I don't want them. <laughs> I'm not fighting gloves. <laughs> yeah, well, there's more belts yet to come, mate. And I think we're going to have yeah. to... Uh, an update again, you know, after those ones. Um, but I just wanted to do this one today because, you know, it really shows people what's possible in life, you know I mean? Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, I, like, like I've always said, I'm the council estate kid. Always will be, do you know what I mean? And guess what? If you want it, bad enough, you go and get it. And that's what I've done, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, it has cost me a bit, like, but i worked hard for it, so I deserve it, do you mean? You know, my boy, you know, he's coming home all night and he's sitting there smiling with his little belt around him, do you know? It's my boy's, really, do you know? I've done it for my boy, do you know what I mean? That's my boy's belt. I'm proud of him, do you know? That's, what, that's him now. He can look up to me as old, as old, when he's older and say, that's my father, my father did that for me, do you know? What I mean? That's what I want. And so it's the same as my girls, that's in South Wales. They will get to have the, sort of the belt one day when I get down there. But everything I do is for my family, you know? Do you know what I mean? I don't do it for just myself. Obviously, if I'm better than myself, my family's going to be better about me and everything else to go with it. And it all falls into place. Absolutely, mate. Yeah, 100%. I love that. Absolutely. Absolutely love that. And uh, obviously, they're over the moon for you. How did you celebrate afterwards then? Did you just go home to, to your family or did you go out like on the <laughs> It's kind of funny. You're going to like this. Well, my coach, Bobby, uh, his daughter owns a pub. And uh, he said, Dean, we're going back to the Maddox for one. I said, Bob... I ain't going in our place. I said, I go in there and I stay out for days. That's not me no more. He said, you won't. He said, you haven't won or off. I said, right, okay. So I walk, so, you know, and there's these two girls trying to grab me. So I have the belt on my shoulder and everything. Kaylee's going, leave me alone. He's mine. I'm going, girls, leave me alone. I said, I don't want to be pulled out tonight. I said, look, I've just been in a fight. And I said, you see the belt? So I'm aching. My hands are bad. Please don't pull me. So she's going, I'll buy you a drink. I said, oh, thank you for your awful love. But I'm with my partner, as you can see. She went, shrug her shoulders. And Kayla went, <laughs> is it? So obviously I walked in the bar and I was like, okay, one, I'm going. I said, I can't be asked. Could they come up and sat there? I said, I said, okay, we go in. And Bobby went, oh, you too. Shling your luck. Go. Because <laughs> his daughter's probably there. They were starting to shout to him. I was like, see, this is why I don't go out. I hate going out. These are rats. <laughs> and they are rats, do you know? Because they, they, they're out every weekend. These people are happy. And I do nothing to do with them. And I left all our scene, doing for for my kids and my family. Like obviously up until what was it before the box and I was still going out. Do you know what I mean? I couldn't dream, you know. But honestly, I went home and I went home and I had a pizza and I went to sleep. That was my night. I had one drink, stay home, and I'm back in camp Monday again. So I've had a week off training, I'm back in camp now. Tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> I'm on a fast now as well. I'm on a twenty four hour fast right now. So I haven't eaten nothing yet, and it's killing me. <laughs> well, that is, mate. But I, I, what I will tell you, though, mate, it's a, a powerful lesson. And I want to put this across as well to any of uh, the fighters who are starting out out there as well. You've got to surround yourself with good people. You've got to surround yourself with goals. You've got uh, people who've got goals and people who've got dreams and people who've got uh, people who are aiming for something in life, not people yeah. who are drifting through. Oh, like, you know about me, Liam. Everybody else does about this podcast. I mean, the life I had before this, it was nuts. I'd wake up, like, do you know, like obviously before my kids and this was. Like, during the even to extent of last year, before my baby was born, I was going out with the boys, but I wasn't going out doing the things I used to. But anyway, but it's, I mean, I was going up for years ago and just going out trying to get myself a lot to me and going out on the party session. It's not me no more. I couldn't even dream of it. It's hanging, do you mean? And, if it, it, and obviously, everybody out there is going for the same thing that I went for, maybe. Do you mean? There is a way out of it. You just got to pick the right crowd, exactly what you said. Do you mean? The right people around you. And, and then it all falls into place, and. Do you know what I mean? I still must smoke a vape, I still smoke a frag now and again, but that's me, do you know what I mean? I still go out and be an eight miles if I need to. But I do, at least I don't go drinking every day. That's one big thing. I don't mind the fag. It's the drink I can't do. Because that's, that's what takes me back to hold me. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm with you on that one, mate. 100% with you on that one, yeah. Um, it's a powerful lesson, and I mean, it's massive respect to you for, for giving that up, because it's, um, it's not easy to do it at all, especially when you it. And obviously, you know, in our culture in Wales, it's 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 everything, isn't it? I mean, going out and seeing as well, you know, sort of pack that in and knock it on the head is uh, yeah. 
No, I've been. You, as you know yourself, right? Us Welsh will never go drink to me. So for me to pull out of this, I had. It's still hard now, like like the rugby was on yesterday. And the boys are going, going out and I was like, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I'm glad I didn't because I had a night in with the baby there, right? And I sat and I said, the issue was with, with me as well. I'm just chill out. Couldn't be asked. Didn't want to. So it's not me no more. I really can say that now because obviously the years, well, up until last year, I would, I would, I would have been out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Big respect on it, mate. Big respect. And on the subject of surrounding yourself with good people yeah. as well, obviously you've um, there's been some change around with your team and everything, hasn't there? So big tell thing, us very big things. Yes. Um, the people I got now around me, um, they're good. They're good. They, 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 um, like I said, they, they never miss a fight. And I, I will say this about John and Bobby, mate. They will never miss a fight, even if they could do miss it. It'll be really bad commitments. Like obviously Bob Young's a security business, ALG security. Um, so if he misses this because of that, but I don't think he'd even miss it then. Do you know what I mean? He, he's so dedicated into me and the support he's got for me is unbelievable. John, he's another one, he welcomed me into his gym. It's a family run gym. So he's welcomed me into his family, in other words. So, do you know what I mean? And um I walk in and he's like, All right, tough. I'm like, yeah, you're right, John. He's like, yeah, I'm on a 48 hour fast. I'm like, yeah. I meet him, my, when she's not, because I'm sponsored by Mr. Ricky. I meet him, and I'm like, ah, he's like, Dean, you're horrible. He's like, go away. <laughs> and he has a big, massive burger. I am, and he needs to stand. Do you mean we have a laugh, though? Do you know what I mean? And it's, you know, and they focused on me as well. So if I'm doing, like, if I'm doing something wrong, oh, they'll tell me. Do you know what I mean? Especially Big Bob. He'll uh, keep me a bit bummed for after, like. Right? He's he's savage, Bob is. He's got a nice dip as well, haven't he? Now he's made he made a water tank from it's basically for all us to use in the gym, and he's uh, filled up. And I don't know if you've seen the video of me in it. Yeah, I yeah. My legs. I haven't had the water dip in that cold for about two or three years now. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's nuts. I and I've, I I have cold showers every morning, but it's now it's not as cold as that. I got in there for I'd like the shower now and realizing what it's like. I still I stung, my legs were stinging. Even when I got in, I had a bath. Still stuck in. So I got to get used to doing that again. Yeah, but it's, it's good. I mean, people bringing these techniques to you. Again, like I always say, iron sharpens iron and all that. You know, you surround yourself with the best people and the best things come from it. Do you know what I mean? And let's talk a little bit about your training as well, because obviously I don't want you to give anything away that uh, any opponents can pick up on, but you're no. involved in every fight. You're getting better every fight. What are some of that you're changing and sort of switching up to sort of sharpen up your game and everything like that. Yeah, I've, I've been like obviously because I've lost weight in the past with weight to cut to, cuts now. I've been doing it a lot different now. Um, it's, it's, it's no easy way out to, to put it, you know, than I had work. So obviously now I'm at a minute now I'm sitting at 82 kilo. You know? This is my normal weight now, 82 kilos. It's, it's mad. But when I cut weight, I cut weight bad. It's not to extend where I make myself ill like I used to. I make myself look lean, really lean. And I, I, I had a six pack every day, right? And I was just standing, standing going, I haven't seen this in years. You know, I still got it there now, even though I've got weight on it. I was like, this is unbelievable. Do you know? But obviously, I've, I've just I've just transformed into a boxer. And, and my health is a lot better as well, because I'm eating the right foods now. Um, I've just took on another sponsor now, to so, um, my mate Jay. Um, he, he, he's a personal trainer. He's going to do my diet plan for my next camp coming up. Um, my training, to be honest with you as well, my training's gone back to where it first was when I first joined the Benacle. Um, I'm running at least three to four miles a day. <clears throat> I'm training three times a day with uh, strength and conditioning, bag work and inspiring. I'm splitting it up a bit more now, right? And I'll tell anybody else, if you're going to train, like some people like to do it all in one, but I think if I do a bit... I get more out of those sessions each one. Like again, I was doing the circuit. Again, I was doing the, the bag work, pad work. And then I could get a good hour fully sparring up and I could get 10, 15 rounds of the island. So it works out better for me. Yeah, yeah, that's the way to do it. I like that. I like the, the method of that. And as well as this, mate, I'm curious to ask you as well how your um mental sort of perception of fights has changed. What I mean by that is obviously now you've had you know, you've been you've been busy, haven't you? I mean, you've been getting in there with quite a few different lads. So has there been any changes of like how you mentally prepare for a fight and dealing with like the adrenaline? Definitely changed mentally. Obviously on the day I try and uh, well, 
the only thing that's different now, I do eat in the mornings of my fight and every sweet in the mornings. So since I've been doing that, obviously you can see a difference. And food does do a difference too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's the thing because you've got the, you've got the mental toughness as well as the uh... definitely mental. <laughs> I've got a bit of mental toughness to keep on doing this. Yeah, this is the thing. I mean, yeah, one of the toughest sports in the world, and the training it takes to do it and everything. I mean, it's uh, it's it is amazing. So um, that's that side of things. Obviously, with uh, your like coaching and passing on your knowledge to the the youngsters as well. Yeah. Like, how's that side of things going since we last? Um... Uh, I'm not going to lie, it's been a bit quiet for since Christmas, which is during this, obviously, it's the kids don't want to go back, they're enjoying the new toys. But uh, as for, like, me training the kids, they, they love it, the ones that say, no, they, do you mean, I, I've I I got one of my old ones back. Um, I used to be near the gym, and he's a nice little kid, and his dad brings him, God bless him. But, um, yeah, mate, like I said, you know, I'm still sticking the same thing, still doing what I normally do. Nothing's changed, really, up, 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 up. I'm, I'm getting training harder. I've got my, my title fights and I'm getting older <laughs> and more cuts and scars. And <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, that's another thing about the game. And after a little while in this, you start looking tougher and tougher. I mean, it's always been there, but it starts showing, you know, with a little... Yeah. Mate, there's only so much bio oil and uh <laughs> thing I could use on my face to keep it nice and clean like, and obviously fresh. But like I said, you I mean, like, these scars will never go on you. But... Uh, it doesn't bother me. Scars, bring them on. Hopefully, I won't get cut again, but you can never say ever. Yeah, there are a lot of cuts in the game, though, isn't it? I mean, it, that's the thing about uh, the bare knuckle game, you know, getting getting cut up. Is, uh... Actually, we don't fall to it, it's the cuts, the scars, but my boy's going to get used to it. Yeah, well, like I say, you know, you, you rock the part, mate. I mean, it'll be, uh, you know, you have a few stories to tell the kids and the grandkids. I got this well, one. Well, that's it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, well, as long as my kids get to have a good story, I'll, I'll do it for their future. And, I, and they obviously, they go to do something positive themselves. I mean, they're not far on loads, but other people have, like me and you know, I want them to be on the right path in life. And, well, not so much in boxing. I want them to have a good job. Do you know what I mean? I don't want them to get the face punched in all the time. Do you know what I mean? No, this is my job, and I mean, it's training those kids, training the adults, training myself, fighting. This is my job, and I'm an edge. Obviously, I was working a couple of months ago, but I've had to stop it because obviously I'm training so much with the gym. Can't, I can't risk working at a minute. Mean, with these camps I've got coming up with, well, I got this one on, this one on Monday, and then I'll be in another one this day after April again. So I'll have a week's rest again, and I'll probably be back fighting gym. So I got another fight lined up in June, ready. That's the title fight. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not going to have a time off, I don't think. <laughs> There's never time off for me. No. Well, this is the thing. I mean, you're you're living and breathing it now, aren't you? Because obviously you're training and doing that, and then you're yeah. in the kids and you're in the gym. So you're sort of, and obviously, you know, you're making the money or you're doing whatever you're doing from from training people. So you're, you're sort of into it one way or another. And yeah. living it. So that's a good lesson as well. Um, what about like people getting on board with sponsors and people who want to help you? Shout yeah, out. If there's anybody out there that wants to help me, contact me through my social media, Dean Taft Morris, and you'll find me on you. Um, like I said, I've got a diet, a diet, uh, I got a, a personal trainer for my diet and everything else to go with that. Um, I've got a food company, Miss, Mr. Ricky's a sponsor me as well. Um, I've now got a barber's, <laughs> so I've got fresh tins before my fight all the time. Um, ALG Security, they sponsor me. So, if there's any others that want to sponsor me, I'll happily take them on board, as long as it means something that is going to come in good use for like doing. I won't just have any sponsor just for me to promote their business, and it's not many use for me, do you know what I mean? But if they can help me and I can help them, we'll, we'll sort something out. Yeah, well, yeah, it's always got to be mutual. Uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't go for a company that's gonna not be able to give me anything back, do you know what I mean? Because obviously, if it's safe and I sponsored. I don't know, an owl's in place. I don't really need an owl's right? <laughs> so they won't be able to help me that way, unless they're going to fund me for like my travels. Now. But even then, my travels are paid for because of ALG. Do you know what I mean? So they they got the minibus for us and everything. Well, it's got to be the right package, but it's yeah. good um, It's good you've got the people on board helping you and everything. And like I say, mate, on the up and up, you know, keep reaching uh, those dizzy heights and everything. And I love 
Um, I also love the fact you're just a pure inspiration. I mean, with like being a family man and, uh, you know, all this type of thing, it's, it's just, it's amazing. So I'm really glad that we've been able to uh, update the fans and update yeah, the fighters and everything. It's been good, man. It's been good. Like I said, it's always good to have you in, on the other one. I enjoy it because it's good to have a catch up as a factor in. I don't, I don't, I don't mind doing podcasts with anybody else, but you, especially, I love it. I mean, you know, we always talk and we always, we always, I mean, in each other's inboxes, how are you? So we, we're friends, I mean, so... It's different for us. We friends, so they're in. Exactly, yeah. This is the thing, and that's why I just want to continue to uh, support you. And, you know, continue to get the message out there. Yeah, I mean, any podcast you do, mate, keep getting your message out there everywhere. But I just, I want to keep getting out there to support you and and keep giving that a push. Mm -hmm. So I've seen the potential in there from uh, the beginning. Um, you know, back when we spoke before, you had a little little ember of in there and now it's like a burning fire do you know what I mean now it's, right, it's on fire you my head's on fire right now I just can't wait to get back in there like tomorrow I can't who, who enjoys getting up at five in the morning or six in the morning to go for a you know? and I, I love it I can't wait to get up in the morning you know? yeah oh it I is I'm thinking about yeah it is a good feeling right even though I'm on a fast now I'm sitting there starving but it's got to be done doing to clean my body out now like obviously the junk food I've had for the last week, I've had kebabs, pizzas, during Mr. Mickey's. I've had a lot this week. You, you can think of. There's no wonder I'm 82 kilo. I mean, it's, honestly, I'm full, <laughs> but it needs to be cleaned out. So that's going out over 24 hours. Yeah, that's the best way, mate. Yeah, keep the mind, keep the body clean, keep the mind and the clean. mindset. Well, because it does work with you know when you starve and at that time and you say no, you know, I'm not chocolate cake out of the kitchen, do you mean? And they say we're not allowed it, and I can say no. Do you know, that goes to show how much. It means you, do you know? Big time, big time. Well, I'm happy for you, mate. I'm over the moon, you know, one of those things. I'd like to say a couple more fights down the line. Um, Give it uh, give it two, three, something like, obviously, that you've got these couple coming up now. Mm, you know, next up until June. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be focusing back in camp now tomorrow. My family probably won't hear it off me much. Um, but Hayley, they hardly see me again. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But it's... it's it's the it's the life we chose, you know, unfortunately. I love it. I wouldn't I wouldn't turn back and say, Oh, I hate that, I hate that. I don't I hate I hate I hate it at the moment. It's like, oh, why do I do this? But then I'm going, to, Yeah, I know why I do this. Because that's the result, Doctor. And when you do something, that is the result. And I've worked hard for us, so I'm gonna keep on getting more belts. So if there's anybody else out there that's got bare knuckle comic um fights and they want me to fight them, let's get it on. I won the belts. Do you know what I mean? I won all the belts. <laughs> that's the way that's the way well it's been great catching up with you my mate it really has and uh, we, you know, we'll get this out there and give things a push again and we'll just go from there but no I uh, appreciate your time mate top man thank you mate. thank yeah. you Thank you very much for watching. Um, please subscribe to the Simply Inspired YouTube channel and there'll be more videos coming soon.